An X is complicated? Who said that? So here I have an NPM workspace with a Remix app and a shared UI package, which is just a React package exporting a component. And the Remix app here happens to use it by just referencing it in the dependencies. Now in an NPM workspace, if you have it specified in a package JSON, you can just reference these packages locally without having to actually publish them anywhere. That's the whole point of a monorepo. Now, if you want to go ahead with just plain NPM workspaces, Yarn workspaces, or PMPM workspaces, that is totally fine. But if you want a bit more DX, such as caching and other stuff, well, you might want to add something like NX. Adding NX is super easy. You just add a single NPM package, which is called NX, and that's basically it. Now, you could configure a bit more by adding an NX JSON, which is mostly just for configuring stuff like cacheable operations or kind of build dependencies, such as you run the build of child projects if you run a parent project build. But once you have that, you can just run the package scripts, such as NX dev my Remix app, which does nothing else than running the dev script in the Remix package JSON. But it is also as intelligent of running first the shared UI build because Remix app depends on the shared UI build. And the cool part is also now you get caching. So let's say we build the shared UI lib. Well, it wouldn't be rebuilt. So you can see it got read out of the cache, took nine milliseconds. Why is that? Well, we just served the Remix app, which happened to build the shared UI lib already. So there's no point to run the build again. And apart from that, there's also some really cool features such as the NX graph. Whatever is in your apps or packages folder and whatever you have in your package scripts or however you build those apps or packages, NX simply doesn't care. All it does is to take your package JSON scripts, analyze your workspace dependencies and run those scripts in the most efficient way possible. That was complicated? I don't think so. But wait a minute. I heard NX being all about plugins and you need a plugin to run like a React application and if you don't have a plugin, it doesn't really work. What is that all about? Yeah, that's another option you can use NX with. And it actually provides a whole lot of more benefits than the simple setup that we have just seen. So I'm not sure like which position you are right now, but like what often happens is you jump in a monorepo, you set up a bunch of different applications, different tech stacks even, and then you're doing research about like, how do I make React work with TypeScript and import that other library that is also built with TypeScript and reuse it across my different React apps? How do I make sure I can work with debugging without having to jump into the actual compiled code and rather see the actual source code, which I would like to debug? How do I set up end-to-end -end testing? How do I configure Jest to run with my React app? How do I set up Storybook in a monorepo? How does it even work? Well, that's where the NX plugins come in. So NX can be set up either incrementally as we have just seen, or you can use one of those cool presets. And the presets are there to help you configure your workspace based on what you might want to host in a workspace. So let's say we have mostly React applications. I would probably go and choose React because it installs all the packages in a way that I want to have them. This gives you a preset up workspace with a React app in there that you can already go ahead and ru just run. So we can even right click, say NX run. We want to serve this app and that's it. But that's not all. Want to run Jest tests? They're already pre-configured for you. So you can just like again use NX run. Want to run the tests? And here we go. Want to run end-to-end -to -end tests or know how to set them up? Has already happened for you. You can also generate a new one if you want. But you can also just go here, NX run, end-to-end -end for our React application. What happens? NX will first boot up the React application, automatically link the Cypress-based end-to-end test to it and run the tests. Now in this case, it runs it locally, but you can run it in a Cypress runner or in any browser Cypress supports. So you want to create a library that extracts some of the functionality of your application. Well, again, just right click, run some of the generators, generate React library, choose whatever is most suitable to you, give the library a name, and you get a shared UI library set up with already an entry point configuration file with already TypeScript set up such that you can just use it. We can just go into our React application and import the library. And also debugging works. So I can just like go here and can directly jump into the source of that library. 
So I don't even need a Yarn or NPM workspace because all of this is configured via a dsconfig-based TypeScript path mapping at the very root of the workspace. That ensures me that the linking works, fast refresh works, and I also can debug the actual sources rather than actually the compiled output. Now, if you want to compile it first, you can obviously do that. So you decide you have a storybook on top of that shared UI library, or well, you just right-click, you generate a new storybook configuration, and there you go. You get storybook set up, configured in a way that it works best inside a monorepo. You even get a Cypress end-to-end -end test set up that runs against the storybook test, all just right-click away. So this is the power of having such an integrated plugin experience where you don't have to worry about what is going on under the hood. What happens is NX sets you up in the most efficient way such that you can focus on the actual production of the features rather than messing around with the tooling. Now, if you need to change something or if you need to configure something in a particular way, you obviously can do that. There's the project JSON files that are coming with every of these projects where you can dig in deeper and configure different aspects of your project setup. And now imagine having some feature that allows you to automatically migrate between versions. So next can give you both. The package-based experience where you set up everything, you mess around with the tooling and NX stays out of your way, or the more integrated experiences where you rely on the powerful NX plugins and you focus on what's most relevant for your business. Sounds interesting? Then check out the links in the video description or the videos posted here somewhere. And thanks for watching. See you in the next one.